How to make CryptoPunks NFT art on Canva for beginners. NFT tutorial. Hey guys, so for today's video, I am going to show you how you can make your own CryptoPunks NFT art on Canva. So if you want to learn more, then just keep on watching. CryptoPunks is a non-fungible token collection on the Ethereum blockchain, so the project was launched last June 2017 by the Larva Lab Studio, and currently it is one of the top-selling NFT art collections on OpenSea. So it consists of 10,000 unique collectible characters, and it is actually inspired by the modern crypto art movement. In addition to that, CryptoPunks are one of the earliest examples of an NFT on Ethereum, and it was an inspiration for the ERC721 standard that powers most digital art and collectibles. So today, I am going to teach you how you can make your own NFT art that is inspired by CryptoPunks through Canva, which is a free digital editing platform. So this is the reference that I'm going to be using today, 3345. You can choose any reference that you would like from the collection. So here we are at Canva. I'm just using the template for an Instagram post, which is a 1080 by 1080 size. And as you can see, I already made my own a while ago, but I'm still going to show you the process of how I made my own crypto punk art. So for the background, I just chose this blue one that you can find usually on crypto punks NFTs. So it's like a grayish blue color. So you can choose any color that you would want for your background right here. So after setting up the background, we're just going to go ahead and search grid pattern PNG white gray for this um, checkered background right here that we are going to use as a guide once we make our own crypto punk art. So just go ahead and copy this image right here. And we're going to paste that on our workspace as a guide for later. So I'm just making it larger to make it fit the entire background right there. So I don't know if you can notice, but there is a watermark right there in the middle of the photo. But don't mind that because we're eventually going to delete this later after we are done creating our pixel art. So the next thing that you want to do is go to the elements section right here on the left side and go to the shape section and choose the square. And this is what we are going to be using as our blocks or pixels for later. So I'm just going to quickly resize this square right here to fit the squares from our template or guide. So it would be much easier for later. So I'm going to do that for all of the colors that I am going to use um, in my CryptoPunk. So as you can see, I'm just resizing everything. It doesn't really have to be perfect because we're going to edit it eventually after. So I suggest that you also do this part because it's going to make your process a little bit more easier and you don't have to always go back to the element section and pick the square shape. You can just duplicate it or copy and paste it. So right here, I'm just looking back at my reference so I know where I could start. So I am starting from the base or the neck part of the CryptoPunk. So I just duplicated the block that I created a while ago. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect when you stack them up because we can edit it later and polish it. So as you can see, I'm just carefully stacking them up and creating the base of the neck right there. So right here, I am just speeding through the process. Again, you can always look back at your reference and gain inspiration on how the face or the outline looks like.
So right here, I am just changing the color into green because this is where I want the CryptoPunks green hair to start. So I am just speeding up through this process again, but you can slow it down to see the general sense of how I am making or stacking these blocks together. So there we have it. I am already done with the outline on the hair and the neck right there. So I'm just going to get started on drawing on the skin of my CryptoPunk. So as you can see, I took a shortcut right here. I didn't want to like one by one place the skin colored blocks right there. So I just, you know, resized the blocks into larger ones so it would be a lot easier. So here I am just placing a necklace, a gold necklace, on my CryptoPunk, like my reference. So now that we're done with the overall base of our CryptoPunk, I'm just going to delete that guide right there. And we can see our actual CryptoPunk with our blue background. So now I'm going to proceed with working on the facial features like the eyes, the nose, and the lips. So for the facial features, I'm just copying the usual facial features of a NFT CryptoPunk. So I just added like a eyeshadow right there, a purple eyeshadow. Now I'm adding the nose and the lips or mouth as well. Now right here, I'm just um, finishing it up. And as you can see, I am overlapping the blocks to one another because I want to fill in the gaps so that I can no longer see any of the background on my CryptoPunk. And there we have it. I have already produced two CryptoPunks inspired NFT art. So again, it is very easy. You just have to really go through a trial and error process to get it right. So I hope that you guys have learned something from this video and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.